Good morning, good morning. Happy Saturday. How are you guys? Welcome to class. This is your 60 minute yoga class coming to you live from Las Vegas. I'm Amy, I'm your yoga teacher. So happy to see you this morning. Let me just get the YouTube going. We are live on Facebook, live on YouTube. I did have to cancel the class yesterday and that's why we're having a class today on Saturday. It kind of reminds me of, hi Ashutosh, good morning, when we used to do class every day, whenever this first started, if you remember, if you've been with me since back then, since March 20th, because um, we're doing today, 9 a.m. Hi Lou, welcome, welcome, tomorrow, 9 a.m. And then we'll also do the Monday at 6 a.m. Pacific. So we're going to be together every day for the weekend. Yay! so excited happy to see you my body has been missing yoga so I'm so happy we get to do yoga together today together next couple days uh, this is a 60 minute yoga class it does move quick so we can fit everything in we do everything twice hi Carol so if you don't get the first time around you get a second chance if this is your first time joining if you're new to yoga if you're new to this kind of yoga, you just do the best you can. Over time, you'll learn the postures, you'll learn the dialogue, I'm saying the same thing every single day, and then you'll be able to push yourself more. I did get some new lights, but I really don't think it made it any lighter in here. <laughs> you'll have to tell me. I'm probably gonna have to break down and buy one of those big uh, umbrella lights, right? So if you're watching this on the recording, I do upload this right onto the YouTube right after class. Um, Go ahead, skip ahead. We're gonna get started in about eight minutes, but you can go ahead and skip ahead if you're doing the recording. Get right to the class. Let me just get the YouTube started here. How are you? Did you have a good week? Yes, yes. I hope so, wonderful week. Uh, things getting back to normal a little bit in your neck of the woods, maybe. I don't know, I know some of you are watching from all over the world. So happy to have you here today. 60 minute yoga class to do a little bit Today. Hi Shashant, especially if you've got injuries, you've got things going on. Good morning YouTube, welcome, welcome. You've got things going on, um, you know, mentally, physically, emotionally. You just do a little bit. You don't have to do every single thing. You don't have to kill yourself. You know, I'm going to say take it easy, honey. I mean it, take it easy, honey. You don't have to do everything in one day. You got the rest of your life to practice this yoga. So you just do whatever you can today. You take care of you. The hardest part is getting here. And you did that. You're already here. So give yourself a little pat on the back for making it here. Um, I have not, those of you wondering about next week, I have not um, decided uh, there's some things going on next week. So um, if you're, if you went to my website, uh, oh, welcome back, Carol. You get home with Amy.com. Hi, Stephanie. And put in your email. I only thing I email out is Sundays. I send out the schedule for the week. So this week might be a little different because there's some things going on. Um, but I will let you know here. Hi, Martin. I will send out the email to you if you put in your email address on my website, yogaathomewithamy.com. Hi, Ayman, how are you? Um, and then you'll have the schedule there. So I haven't decided yet. But for the weekend, we have Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So I'm so happy to see you guys. Um, you're still having your coffee this morning. I know some of you are doing some stuff to get warmed up, going for a run, walking the dogs. Chance and I went for a run this morning, so he's already in his little dog asana back there. <laughs> He's ready to go to sleep in the yoga show. All right, yes, there we go. You two get you all situated. Perfect, perfect. We got just a couple more minutes here. If you're just joining me, welcome, welcome. This is your 60 minute yoga class. I'm Amy, I'm your yoga teacher. I'm coming to you live from my backyard in Lake Las Vegas. Happy to see you this morning. If you have a mat and towel, you can set that up. If you don't have a mat and towel, don't even worry about it. You don't even need it. Not a big deal at all. Hi, Trisha. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Hi, Furio. Welcome, welcome. You going to do some yoga today? Yes, I hope so. Move the blood around the body. Increase your immune system. Do something good for yourself. I do recommend that you turn off the notifications. Let me do that right now. Turn off my notifications. Oh, good, Furio. I didn't know you were from Daytona Beach. I went to Embry-Riddle. Aeronautical University for college in Daytona Beach, but I graduated from the one in Prescott, Arizona, but I lived there for about a year and a half, I think, in the dorms, 
in Daytona Beach, right there at the airport at the Speedway. So that's cool. So welcome, welcome everybody. We are just about to get started. 60 minute yoga class. This yoga is designed to be hot, but if you don't have the heat, don't even worry about it. You don't even need it. You're going to increase the heat in your body, building just, hi Kimberly, how are you? Just by moving, doing the things that we're doing, you're gonna warm up your body from the inside out. So if you've got that going, don't worry about it. If you got the heat going, that's good too. Some of you, I know it's getting hot wherever you are. Some of you practicing outside, that's so nice. I tried to do that here one time. I don't know if you remember that. Um, hi, Gina. Good morning, good morning. I was thinking of you this morning. I took a chance for a run before the class. I know you said you ran your dogs the other day before the class. Um, if, it's, if it's hot outside, if you want to practice outside, that's great. I did try to do it one time, and my... Um, hi, Mr. Rayful. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Gita. Welcome to class, welcome, welcome. And my iPad, hi Julie, my iPad, my laptop, everything overheated. <laughs> hi Orlando, welcome, welcome. So hi Akia, happy to see you this morning. Uh, we're gonna get started in about three minutes. Um, oh good, Gita, you're watching, that's okay. You can watch the first one. I know some people, new people have told me they watched the first class, which is totally fine. And then, oh, hi, Marlon, how are you? Watch the first class, you see what's going on. You see, oh, it's not too bad. I think I could try that, right? <laughs> and then, oh, I would love to, Kita. Um, you see what's going on, you try the postures. Hi, Mary, good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Saturday. You see what's going on, maybe you watch the whole entire class. Maybe you watch the first set and then you join in on the second set. Whatever works for you, you know, just as long as you're getting some little bit of yoga in your life. I do encourage you to share this with everybody. Hi, Norm. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Nice to see you this morning. Um, I do encourage you to share this yoga. We are going to keep doing this here. We're on my Facebook Live. We're on my YouTube Live. Oh, good for you. Yes, 16 years. So we are um, anywhere you need it. If you can't make it to the live class, you can go to my YouTube channel. It's Amy Lynn McNulty. Anytime you can see it there. Hi, Somu. Welcome, welcome. And you can get caught up. You can do it every day if you want to. We are currently doing um, like three to four days a week. Um, schedule does change sometimes. So like I said, if you go to my website, yogaathomewithamy.com and put in your email address, I will send out this schedule weekly. So every Sunday, I will send you a little schedule update. And then like this week when I had a conflict, I did send out a little schedule update. So if you want to put in your email, if you want to be notified, I do put it on social media, but good morning, Jody. Good morning. I thought of you this morning, Jody. I took chance for a run all around here. We stayed inside the gate though, but still really nice running, you know? It's not too hot this morning, so it was doable. You know, the last couple of days it's been like 107, 108. Oh my God, you get up in the morning and it's already 90. Hi, Pin, how are you? That's too hot for chance with this fur coat, you know? So, oh yeah, taking a nap. All right, so we're just about to get started here. Hi, Stephanie. Good morning, good morning. We got about one more minute left. So whatever you're doing, turn off the ringer, turn off the TV. Please turn off the TV. No listening to the TV. And uh, let's get started, everybody. Quick sip. And let's get up, let's get moving. You made it here, that was the hard part. 60 minutes, time to enjoy. Thank you for sharing your Saturday morning with me. All right, let's get started everybody. Come to the middle of your space. If you have a mat and towel, you can go ahead and set that up. Let me put my mat down here. Chancy, you're probably gonna have to push a little bit, buddy. All right everybody, toes and heels together. Time to stand up, get out of the bed. Get off the couch. Let's get started. Come to the middle of your space. Take a moment. Ground yourself. Shoulders back, chest up. Breathe. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the nose. Hi, Francis. Welcome, welcome. You made it here. I'm so happy to see you, everybody. Happy Saturday. I'm Amy. I am your yoga teacher. Toes and heels together. You begin with pranayama deep breathing. Good for lungs and respiratory system. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, all the time you see your throat. Breathe as much as possible, as long as possible, as 
slow as possible, nine o'clock on the dot. Let's get started. Interlock your ten fingers, place your knuckles underneath your chin, glue the knuckles to the chin, nice and tight grip. Everybody concentrate, meditate. First timer, you can watch the first couple, join in as soon as you have it. Leg muscles, tight butt, tight stomach. In, inhale, let me get it. Only down, 
with no twisting, no turning, no collapsing. It's like you're sandwiched in between two panes of glass. You can't bend forward, you can't bend back. Chin up, chin up, chin up, arms at the ears, big grapefruit underneath the chin, come down, foot. Put your hips out beyond the ankle bones, tremendous stretching, feeling little pain sensation. Right hip forward more, left shoulder forward, use the left arm, pull the right arm down, inhale, make it count. Come down, push, come down, push, come down, push, push, push. First back or bed of the day. Back some curve. I'm going to turn to the side. You stay right there. Take a deep breath. Pull up and drop your head back as far as it goes. Relax your head. Relax your head. Look for the floor. Eyes open. Close your mouth. Bring your arms back. Immediately try to touch the windows. Bend your spine backwards. Hoxes to the neck. Lower back. Lower back. Upper back. Total spine back. Go bend. Keep going. Try to fall down backwards. Maximum body weight to your heels. Inhale. Push. Seven legs. Six. Everything forward. Arms back. Look back. Fall back. Way back, go back, more back, inhale, come up, stomach in, you go down, nice back bend, eye bend, bend the knees if you need to, reach for the floor, put your both hands, ten fingers on the floor in front of you, you can't touch the floor yet, you bend the knees, touch the floor, bend the knees, right left, right left, get the lower spine nice, loose, comfortable, easy, flexible, let the head hang heavy, let's go on. There we go. Sorry, my heater went down to 79. That's not hot enough, right? That's the floor. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Do full squats if you want to. Pop the knees. Pop the arches. Say hello to your hamstrings, Jody. Let's set it up. You ready? Grab your heels. Toes and heels together. Scoop up your heels from behind. Underneath your heels. Step on all five fingers of each hand. Little baby fingers touching each other side by side. Please don't lose the grip. Pull on your heels, stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach on your thighs, your chest on your knees. Relax your head down and touch your face on the legs below the knees. From the side, your body should look like a Japanese ham sandwich. There's no room for lighter air no gaps anywhere. Continuously keep pulling. Pulling is the object of stretching. Pull on your heels, put your knees back. Feel the tremendous stretching, feeling pain sensation all over. Underneath your legs, inside out, bones of the feet, toxic to the toes. With your smiling, happy face. Smile and pull. Pull on your heels, push your knees back off your knees. Exhale, breathing off your knees. Roll forward to the toes, hips up towards the ceiling, stretch your head down. The bones touch the top of the head to the top of your feet. Everybody, lock your knees. Lock your knees. Lock your knees. Inhale, come up, stomach in. Take a deep breath out of the way. Stretch up, touch the ceiling. Change, arms float down by your side. Good morning. Welcome to your new spine. Welcome to your Saturday. Happy day. Ready for the second set. Inhale, arms up. Over the head. Interlock your ten fingers. Release the index of your thumbs. Cross your in the business now. Get forward. Stretch up and go. Right away to the right. Already more warmed up. Feeling warming up your spine, your body, every single direction right here in the beginning. Come down. Push. Left hip forward. Right shoulder forward. Chin up. Take a deep breath. Go further. Push. Come down. 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 Come up. Stretch up. And over to the left. Feel the stretch down the right side this time. All over. You've been here before. You know what to do. Chin up. Push the hips out beyond the ankle bones. Tremendous stretching feeling. Right hip forward more. Left shoulder forward. Hands palms together. Make sure there's no teeny hands down. Nice and tight grip. Come down. Push, 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 push. And now breathing. Come up. Second back or bend. Be fearless. Take a deep breath. Pull up. Drop your head back as far as it goes. Relax your head. Relax your neck. You can shake it. Yes, no. If that feels good for you, let's set it up. Bring your arms back. Immediately try to touch the windows behind you. You can stay there. You don't have to go any further than that. Point your fingers back. Stretch your arms back with your ears. Try to fall down backwards. And now your stomach like sits everything forward. Arms back. Look back. Fall back. Way back. Go back. Go back. More back. Inhale. Come up. Good listening. Stomach in. You go down. Suck in your stomach. Bend the knees. Put your both hands, ten fingers on the floor. Open your ears, right? You'll notice if you go to yoga a lot, you have your friend or yogi friends. They're like the best listeners. They know how to listen, right? And listen without thinking. They're just really good listeners. Put your hands on the floor. Another good side effect that comes from practicing your yoga. Toes and heels together. Let's set it up. Grab your heels from behind. Underneath your heels. Stepping on all five fingers of each hand. Little baby fingers touching each other side by side. Please don't lose the grip. Pull on your heels, stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Put your stomach on your thighs. Your chest on your knees, relax your head down and touch your face on the legs below the knees. From the side, your body should look like a Japanese ham sandwich. There's no room, no gaps, no space anywhere. Continuously keep pulling. Use the arms. Go ahead, bend the elbows more, elbows behind your legs. Pull on your heels, 
push your knees back off your knees. Roll forward to the toes a little bit. Come to the toes. Try it. Try to come to the toes. Take some of the pressure off your fingers under the heels. You feel that. Stretch your head down. Stretch your neck. Now bring your elbows closer together and pull. Last half. Lock your knees. Lock your knees. Lock your knees. Inhale. Come up. You feel the difference when you try it that way? Yes. No. Maybe so. Good. Change. Arms float down. You got it. Upper pose. Ukatasana. Step your right foot to the right. Six inches apart. You can look down. Feet are exactly parallel to one another. Directly below the hip bones. Don't move your feet. Bring your arms up. Parallel to the floor. Step your stomach in. Hold it in. Sit down like you're sitting in the chair. Feet flat position. 100% body weight. Your heel spine straight to begin with. Lift your chest up. Bend your total spine back. We're bending. Bring your upper body back. Step your stomach in. Open your knees. Six inches. Toes, heels, knees, and half. Chest up, chin up, lean back. Stretch your arms forward. Lean back. Fall back. Way back, go back, try to fall down backwards. Inhale, come up. Come on the toes. Maximum like a ballerina, all the way up, stretch your spine, chest, head. Imagine like pulling your hair toward the ceiling. Sit down on top of the toes. Sit down into the chair. Knees up, chest up. Knees up, chest up. Upper body leaning back. Come higher on the toes. Knees up toward the ceiling. Hips should not go down below the chair. You're sitting in the chair. Inhale, come up. Third part, come on the toes. Bring your knees together. Stomach in, you go down. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five. Take your time. Just go down as much as you can. If it's hurting the knees, don't even worry about it. Stay there. Half inch gap between the hips and the heels. Keep the knees together and forward towards the crowd. Your thighs parallel to the floor. Arms parallel to the legs. From the side, you look like a box. Stomach in. Come straight up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, one. Lower the heels. Right foot back. Arms down by your side. Take a breath. Warming up the leg muscles, doing great. Second set, step your right foot to the right, six inches apart, heels invisible, all three parts. Don't move your feet, bring your arms up, parallel to the floor, squeeze the five fingers, stomach in, sit down. Zoom into the chair, you've been here before, right away. Sit down into the chair, body weight to your heels, lean back, stretch your arms forward, lean back, fall back, way back, go back, tilt the upper body back more, go a little bit further, go to the heels, hold it, stretch your arms forward, try to fall down backwards. Inhale, come up. Good, hold. Come on the toes. Maximum like a ballerina. All the way up. Try to get off the balls of your feet. Get onto the big toe and second toe. Sit down on top of the toe. Sit down, sit down. I love practicing at home with you. Those of you that want to stay home or need to stay home, remember I'm going to be here with practicing with you. Come higher on the toes. Sit down. Hips should not go down below the chair. You're sitting in the chair. Inhale, come up. Good, lower the heels. Third part. Come on the toes. Knees together. You go down. Ten. Nine. And Kimberly, too, is going to keep teaching here at home. I think Tuesday, Thursday, right? Kimberly, all the way down. All the way down. Continuously stretch your spine up. You can test your pull control. Go ahead and bounce. Like a motorcycle ride. Big bounces, bounce and bounce. Bounce and bounce. Freeze. Hold it. Stomach in. Slowly come up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, one. Lower the heels. Right foot back. Arms down by your side. Good. Eagle pose. One more posture. You get a water break. Stay with me. Eagle pose. Right arm, left arm. Don't mix them up. Bring your arms up over the head. Swing your right arm underneath the left arm. So if you're looking for 90-minute classes, right, Kimberly, Tuesday, Thursday, it's uh, Kimberly Reed on Facebook. Sit down. Lift your right leg up. Bring it over the left leg. Or if you're still doing Instagram, I just think Facebook's better. Put <laughs> under the gap muscle. Don't even worry about Instagram. It freezes too much. Knees to the right. Upper body to the left. Feet, knees, elbows, hands. Everything in one line. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing the balance, upper body back more. Suck in your stomach. Hold it. Sit down again. Bring your upper body back at the end. Change. Come up. Arms over the head. Left side. Bring your left arm. Swing. Underneath the right arm. Huge swing. Really use the arms. Get the wrist, the elbows first, and then the wrists. If the wrists are not happening, you can put the hands on the shoulders. Sit down, like you're sitting in the chair. Left leg up, bring it over the right. Cross your legs, twist your leg, you like juicy ropes. Foot under the calf muscle. If the foot's not back there, keep sliding it down. Eliminate the gap between the ankle and calf muscle. Bring your knees to the left, upper body to the right. Feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing the balance, upper body back more. Stomach in. Pull the elbows down. Hold it just for a second. Bring your upper body back at the end. Change. Come up. Arms over the head. Right arm, right leg. Go. Try it. Swing. 
Drop it straight down. Keep the wrist straight. You can grab your ankle. Five fingers together. Nice tight grip. Left arm up. Chin close to the shoulder. Bring your knees together to start. Take a deep breath and go. Charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick the right leg back and up. Bring the body down. Lower spine. Chest and abdomen parallel to the floor. Keep kicking. Kicking, stretching equal simultaneous 50-50. If you lose the balance, you're not kicking hard enough. Kick more. Stretch forward more. Shoulder to the chin. Shoulder blade scapula coming out of the body. Kick. Bring the body down. Stretch forward. Take a deep breath. Head straight. Kick up one more time. Change. Come up. Toes and heels together. Arms down by your side. You feel that. Blood filtering from one side of the body to the other. Left hand up. Bring it out to the side. Drop it down. Grab your ankle. Five fingers together. Tight grip. Right arm up. Chin close to the shoulder. Bring your knees together. Take a deep breath and go. You kick. And you kick. And you kick. As much as you can. That you're forced to bring the body down. Stretch forward more. Shoulder to the chin. Shoulder blades, scapulas coming out of the body. Kick. Hand palm facing the floor. Toes over the top of the head. Kick. Stretch forward more. Kick more. Kick harder. Look forward. Stretch forward. Take a deep breath. Kick up one more time. Change. Come up. Toes and heels together. Arms down by your side. Breathe. Deep breath. In through the nose. Out through the nose. You're doing fabulous. Let's do it again. Second set. Right arm down and left arm up. At the same time. Go. Ha ha. You know. We've been doing this long enough. Stretch up and go. You kick. And you kick. Some of you are doing this with me since the very beginning. I really, 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 really do appreciate you. Left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. Kicking, stretching, equal simultaneous. Chest down, chest down, then parallel to the floor. Stretch forward more, kick and kick and kick. Give me the good one. Kick up one more time. Change. Come up. Very nice one. Toes and heels together. Left arm down, right arm up. Go. Test your balance. Stretch up. And go. We're still in the standing one legged balancing series. I just saw this thing on TV that you buy to help with the balance. Right? You don't need that. You do your yoga, your legs get stronger. This will help you with the balance. Right shoulder forward kick, left shoulder back, thinking searching equal simultaneous 50 50. Bring the chest down, chest and abdomen parallel to the floor. Lock the standing leg, try to lock out the kicking leg. Take a deep breath, kick up one more time. Change. Come up right where you are. Balancing seat tool to nest and arms over the head. Hands, palms together, interlock the 10 fingers, release the index fingers. Chin up. Lean your upper body back. Right leg step forward. Big step. Lock both knees and go. Bring your body down. 10 seconds. Chest down, leg up. Body down, leg up. Look forward, look forward, look forward. Stretch forward. Shoulder blades, step blades coming out of the body. Hands, palms together. Point the toe. Stretch. Everybody stretch. Everybody stretch. Change. Come up. Arms up. Chin up. Upper body leaning back. Left leg step forward. Big step. Lock both knees and go. Bring the body down. It's a little bitty heart attack in here, so you don't have to wear one side of this room. Chest down, leg up. Body down, leg up. Upper muscle contracted. Kneecap facing the floor. Stretch and stretch and stretch. Change. Come up. Arms up. Arms down by your side. Take a deep breath. You feel that? Heart beating out of your chest like crazy. That's wonderful. That means you're alive. Second set. Inhale. Arms up. Over the head. Interlock your ten fingers. Release the index fingers. Thumbs cross. Chin up. Little trick here. The tighter the grip, the easier it is. Lean the upper body back. Right leg step forward. Big step. Ten seconds. Go. Ten. Nine. Leg up. Eight. Seven. Look forward. Six. Stretch your arms. Five. Point your toes. Stretch. 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 Change. Come up. Arms up. Chin up. Upper body leaning back. One more. You got it. Take a deep breath. And go. Left leg step forward. Big step. And go. Watch the turnout on the right leg. The right kneecap face facing the floor. The sole of the foot facing the ceiling. Stretch your arms forward. Stomach in. Stretch. Everybody stretch. Everybody stretch. 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 Come up. Keep your arms up here. Step to the left of the space. Step over the space. Four feet distance. Over the mat if you have one. Arms down parallel. Two heels in one line. Toes are slightly pigeon toe, but not like too turned in. You know what I mean, Mary? Chin up. You go down. Look forward. And chin forward. Good, Lou. Are you still here, Lou? I hope so. Come all the way down. I can see when you come in, but I can't see when you leave. You know, grab your heels from the outside. If you can grab your heels, you must. If you can't grab your heels, you keep trying. You can grab the outsides of the feet. You can put the hands on the floor. 
Make sure your legs are straight. You feel the stretch in the hamstrings. Legs straight, so you stretch the hamstrings. Roll forward like a wheel. If you have your heels, bend your elbows back towards the shin. Pull. Let the head hang down. Head hang heavy. Couple more inches off the back of the neck. Roll towards the toes. Quick. Try to graze the hairline on the floor in between your feet. Roll forward, touch it. Change. Come on. Keep your feet there. Triangle pose. Chicken ass and the hips forward. Mm -hmm. Lean the upper body back. Welcome, Tracy. Turn the right foot out. Turn your calf much more. Look down. Look at your heels. Make sure they're in one line. All you got your alignment here. Bend the knees and down. Bounce. And bounce. You use the bounce. Make sure you're sitting down low enough. Right leg upside down. Now the knee is right over the ankle. Inhale. Move. Both arms. Bring your elbow in front of the knee. Reach down. Touch your toes. Look up. Touch your chin to the shoulder. Left arm stretch up. Right arm stretch down. Short arm shoulder stretch. In opposite direction. Push your left hip forward more. Turn, twist your upper body back. Push the knee back with the help of the right elbow. Keep the left knee locked, left foot flat on the floor. Inhale, come up, good. Right foot in, hips forward. <clears throat> Upper body back, turn the left foot out. Turn in half inch more, bend the knees, sit down, bounce. And now to remember when we celebrated my birthday in April together, and now move both arms. If it's your birthday, we can always do that here too. Let me know, look up. You can invite your friends, you can do a watch party, we can sing happy birthday triangle, push your right hip forward more, turn to your upper body back. I'll even bring you on the screen for the triangle. Keep the right knee locked, right foot flat on the floor. Inhale, come up. So let me know if it's your birthday so we can celebrate. Arms over the head, hands, palms together, cross your thumbs, turn to the right. Turn your hips one, two, three, four, five times. Two hips in one line, two heels in one line. Back foot 45 degrees. Chin to your chest, exhale, you go down. Or we can sing um, Happy Birthday Camel. You know, some people like that. Or we can sing at the beginning, or we can sing at the end. It's totally up to you. It's your birthday. So you let me know. Look up at the belly button, throat chuck eyes open. Breathing normal, maximum body weight in the right leg, right hip up, left hip down, your two hips are in one line. So if you're looking at your knee like I am, right, go ahead and bend the knee. You must touch the forehead on the knee, you must get the compression, front side compression, back side extension. Push the floor away, quick. Try to lock both the knees a couple of times. Inhale, come on, stay facing the right. Stomach in, inhale, all the way up with Jody. Turn to the center. Turn to the left, 185 degrees, right hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times, elbows locked. Chin to your chest, exhale, you go down, throat choked. Stomach, 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 take your time on the entrance. Use your muscles, not momentum, look up at the belly button. Round your spine, touch the forehead on the knee. So you have to put it on the forehead on the knee and leave it there the whole time. Don't let it come apart. Throat choked, eyes open, stomach in. Push the left hip up, right hip down. Feel the stretch in the leg. If it's not a stretching, it's a compression. Compressing the front side of your body, extending the back side. Push your hands against the floor, elbows straight. Try to lock both knees a couple of times. Inhale, come up, stay facing the left. Come all the way up. Any other exercise you're doing, turn to the center. Right foot back. This is a good compliment for your other exercises. You're running, you're weightlifting. Anything else, this is going to be good. It's going to lengthen the muscles. Second set, do it again. Arms to the head, right foot step to the right. Boom. If you easily touch your forehead, take a smaller step. If you didn't touch, wider step. You know your body. Chin up, you go down. You need to be honest with yourself. I can't see you, so you do whatever you need to do. Alonia, welcome, welcome back. I miss you, girl. Grab your heels from the outside. If you can't grab your heels, try to grab the heels. If you still can't grab the heels outside of the feet, Hands on the floor, reaching for the floor. More important than the hands. I really don't care where your hands are. I just want your legs straight. Get the legs straight. Engage the quads, the front of the legs, so you can safely stretch out the hamstrings, the back of the legs. Legs stretch, hip stretch. Lower spine, whole spine, whole body stretching. 360 degree angle, coccyx to the toes, coccyx to the forehead. Let your head hang. You see how I do that weird thing with my neck? That helps get the kinks out from last night if you slept funny, you know? Roll forward to the toes, hips up. Roll forward to the toes, hips up. One more time, roll forward to the toes, hips up. Stretch your head down. Try to touch your hairline on the floor in between your feet. Roll forward, touch it. Aha! Uh -huh. Change, come up. You got it that time, beautiful. Hips forward, bring the upper body back. Right foot out. Triangle pose, second set. You do everything at the same time. Bend the knee, move the arms, go. Swing, look up. 
Perfect triangle, left arm up, stretch, stretch. You're gonna touch the ceiling pretty soon. Push the left hip forward, turn, twist your upper body back. Keep the left knee locked, left foot flat on the floor. Inhale, come up. It's quick, it's precise. Hips forward, upper body back. You're still getting the benefits. Let that turn the left foot out. Bend the knee, move the arms, go. Swing. Look up. Look up and stretch out. Stretch, stretch, stretch. You're gonna touch the ceiling. Your two arm shoulders stretching in opposite directions. It's a perfect marriage of the heart and lungs. Push the right hip forward, turn, twist your upper body back. Deep breath. Right knee locked, right foot flat on the floor. Inhale, come up. Good. Feet in. Arms over the head, hands, palms together. Standing separately, head and knee down. You want to be packed by the Jenny Shiras. Now turn to the right, turn your hips. You gotta turn that back foot so it's at a 45 degrees. So your two hips are in one line, facing the right. Chin to your chest. Go down, throw chest. Eyes open, you're breathing. You're looking up at the belly button, round your spine. Touch the forehead on the knee. A little trick here for your alignment. You probably can't see yourself, even if you have a mirror, you're upside down. So it's hard to see yourself. So one little tip I have for you. You've got the forehead on the knee, and you're looking up at the belly button. If the belly button is pointing to the left, that means you need a little bit more body weight in the right hip. Right hip up, left hip down. You notice, see the belly button goes straighter down towards the floor. That's the goal. Push the floor away. Walk your hands, palms close together. Try to lock all these. More of a compression, forehead higher on the knee. Change. Come on. Stay facing the right. It's always a work in progress, you know? Even when you think it's done, turn to the center. Turn to the left, then there's even more to do. There's more to that posture. You don't even know it yet. Chin to your chest, exhale, you go down. Drop chest. Eyes open. Round your spine, look at the belly button. Touch the forehead on the knee. So once you master this, right, you master it, you get the, the, the two hips in one line, forehead on the knee, throw chest, and you get your hands, palms together. Then you'll start taking even a smaller step. The smaller step is more challenging, more of a compression. The bigger step is more for the beginners, but that's where you need. You need to start somewhere. Start with the body you have, left hip up, right hip down. Bring the hands, palms close together. Engage your abdominals. Try to bring your forehead one inch higher. Try to lock both knees a couple of times. Inhale, come up. Stay facing the left. Come all the way up. Good, turn to the center. Right foot back to the place. Arms down by your side. One step back, middle of the mat, middle of the towel, right arm time. Tree into toe. Lift your right leg up. One, two, three, four, five times. Come all the way up. One or both hands, whatever you need. Carefully, carefully let your knee come down. Slowly, gently push your hips forward. Lean your upper body back. Your standing leg is locked by contracted. Do the right hand first. If you can balance, do the left hand. If your foot slips, your knee bends, your butt sticks out, keep holding on to the foot. Push your hips forward, lean the upper body back. Stay there, nice and proud trees. Focus on the floor, four feet in front of you, slowly bend forward. Bend at the waist, start to bend forward. If this is all you can do, you stay right there. You don't have to go any further. If you can go further, you must. You keep going down, 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 much as you can to touch the floor. Once you touch the floor, you can stay there, or keep going, bend the knees, sit down. Bring your hips to your heel. Walk your hands, both sides of your body, balancing on your fingertips. Do the left hand first, and then the right hand. Keep stretching out, half inch off your heel. Then you bring your eyes up, and levitate. Stretch up out of the waist. Beautiful. Tree, stay there, wait for toe, toe come out. Exactly the opposite of the way you went down. Come back to the standing. Meet together at the tree, hold it, and release the right leg down. Lift up the left leg, one, two, three, four, five times, all the way very careful with the knee. Slowly, gently let it come down. Push your hips forward, lift the upper body back. Do the left hand, do the right hand. Keep stretching up, up toward the ceiling. Fix your shoulders, fix your posture. This posture is building confidence in your body. Eyes open, breathe normal. Focus on the floor, everybody look down. Don't move your eyes, don't blink your eyes. Slowly bend forward, bend at the waist. Reach for the floor, start reaching forward, wherever you're at. Even if you're right here, you're still getting that stretch in the right piriformis. Once you get all the way down here, you can stay here, or go further, bend the knees and down. Bring your hips to your heel. Walk your hands, both sides of your body, balancing on your fingertips. Left knee down, two knees on one line, parallel to the floor. Do the left hand. Do the right hand, stretch up, half inch off your heel. Then you bring your eyes up, look up, stretch up, levitate, hold it. 
three way for toe, toe come out. Exactly the opposite of the way. You went down, come all the way back to the standing. Meet together at the tree. Hold it. And release. And that's right down. Acknowledge your standing series, however, you choose. You're doing amazing. Turn around, lie down on your back. So, Vasana is your dead body pose. You can fix your mat, fix your towel if you have it. If not, just lie down right where you are. Like I said, you really don't even need the mat and towel. Totally up to you. It just matters where you're practicing. You're taking this time for yourself. I'm going to put mine right here next to Mr. Chance. <laughs> Still in his dog asana. He must have had a good run today. Feet facing the back wall, head facing the mirror. Heels touch, toes fall open, arms on the towel. Hands, palms face the ceiling. Hi, Sohail. Don't move your eyes, don't blink so much. Focus one spot on the ceiling. Acknowledge all of your hard work in the standing series. You're doing such an amazing job. Such a wonderful thing for yourself. Cheers. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Push your shoulders down, breathe, push your hands down, take a deep breath, 
come on, go. Okay, so they come down. Full of this pose, corner salabasana. Arms out to the side, like airplane wings. Zip it up. One leg like a cobra's tail. Arms, body, head, lift, everything lifts up. Working the middle back. Arms up, arms back. Fingertips should be the same as the top of the head. Only your hip bones on the floor. Chest up, chest up, chest up. Look up. Go up. Exhale. Smile. Come up one more time. Okay, slowly come down. Grab your feet. Bow pose. Six inches between the knees, six inches between the feet. High and net, wrist straight, pointed toes. Take a deep breath and gently kick your legs up. Look up, kick up. Look up, kick up. Kick, kick, kick. Roll forward, let your wheel roll forward. Soft front right of your belly on the floor. Knees and toes out. Wrist straight, pointed toes. Head up. Look up. Go up. Take a deep breath. Kick up. Move. Change. Slowly come down. Look to the right. Left ear on the towel. Arms down. Take some deep breaths. In through your nose. Out through your nose. Think about what you're grateful for today. Try to practice your whole Saturday full of gratitude. Let's do it again. Chin out, hands underneath your shoulders as they were. Now two far up, two far down, two far in, two far out, glue it down. One leg like a cobra's tail. Zip up your legs, tops of the ten toes, stay on the floor. Elbows in, look up. Inhale, lift, upper body up. Feel it in the lower back. It's a lower back compression, good for the lower back pain. Stretch your elbows down, breathe, shoulders down, come up. Go up, head up, hold it there, freeze, just for a second, freeze. Okay, slowly come down. You got it, arm straight position. Flip the arms, hands, palms face the floor. Move the hips side to side. It's like you're gonna bump a volleyball underneath your body. Chin forward, look forward. Left leg relaxed, right leg lift up. 10 seconds, 10 on the seconds. Keep looking forward. Look forward, stretch forward. Push the shoulders down, push your hands down, lock it, lift it, leg up, leg up, leg up, leg up. Okay, slowly come down. Relax the right leg. Stretch the left leg back and lift it up. The right leg is not helping you. Left leg, right leg is like a dead leg. Push your hands down. We're bringing back the normal range of motion to the arms. Leg up, leg up, leg up. Change, slowly come down. Put your mouth down now. Kiss the toe. Keep protect your cervical spine. Take a deep breath and lift both legs up. Come up. Everybody go up. Go up. Everybody come up. You can do it. Struggle a little bit harder. Don't give up. Push your hands down. Push your shoulders down. Take a deep breath. Come on, move. Change, slowly come down. Pull up the foot. Turn the salabasana. You're targeting specific. Areas of your spine. This one middle back. Stretch your arms apart. Arms, body, head, legs. Everything is down. 747 taking it off. Go up. Arms up, arms back. Fingertips should be the same as the top of the head. All your hip bones touching the floor. Chest up, chest up, chest up. Smile, breathe, exhale. Come up one more time. Change slowly. Come down. Did you smile? You came up higher then. Grab your feet. <laughs> Six inches between your knees. Your feet. You trick your brain. Your brain thinks, oh, must be having a good time. Grab your feet, take a deep breath, and go. Your brain says, oh, your body is loving this. Your brain, you know, you just have to tell your brain to shut up. Roll forward like a wheel, knees and toes out. Head up, take a deep breath, kick and kick. Open the shoulders, kick up one more time. James, slowly come down, look to the left. Put your whole ear on the towel, back of the ear. A little bit of a neck stretch. If you need a sip, quick sip right now. Open the knees, the feet as wide as you need to. If your knee is killing you, you know what to do. You stay up here. You walk it back. You stay there if you need to. You let the knees, the ankles open up. If you're ready, you go ahead. You go right ahead. You know what you're doing. Hands on the feet. Right elbow, left elbow, one by one. So you only go back once your butt is all the way down on the floor. Top of the head, back of the head. Shoulders on the floor. If it's not there yet, then you stay up there. You let the knees, the ankles open up. Arms over the head, grab your elbows, pull the elbows down. Chin down, eyes open, breathing normal. Keep lifting up the chest, chest and heart up toward the ceiling. If this feels like nothing, you can push the feet into the floor, bring the knees closer. Eyes open, breathing normal. Change, put your hands on your feet. With the help of the elbows, come up. Turn around quick, straighten the legs. Three, two, one. Two. Legs straight. All the high speed nutrient rich blood rushing to your knees, your ankles, your toes, 
healing any injuries from the inside out, bringing back the normal range of motion. Flex your feet, toes and heels together, arms over the head, chin to your chest, inhale, set up. Exhale, quick, blow it out. Shh. Shh. Turn around, let's do it again. Come back to the top of the mat. Sit down, drop the knees, set up, chance, move out here. So open the knees, up for the feet, as wide as you need to. New York to LA, New York to Saudi Arabia. I'm in hands on your feet. This time, do the left elbow, right elbow, one by one. Top of the head, back of the head, shoulders on the floor. Eventually, your whole upper body is relaxed on the floor. Arms over the head, grab your elbows, each other over the head. Go ahead, Tomo, grab your elbows. I know you're not on the live, my friend in Tokyo, but you do it on the recording. And then, remember, Tomo, lift your chest up, chest and heart up toward the ceiling, breathe. It's another backward bend. If this is doing nothing to your knees, you don't feel anything, it's also preventative. So you can focus on the back bend, chest up, chest and heart up toward the ceiling. Eyes open, breathing normal. Put your hands on your feet. With the help of the elbows, come up. This one, put your hands in the front. Straighten the legs, one by one. Come to the middle of your mat, half forward disposed. Ardha Kamasana, knees and feet together, inhale, arms up. Over the head, hands, palms together. Chin up, and you go down. Look forward and stretch forward. Stretch and stretch. Touch the forehead on the floor. Little baby fingers touching. Rest of your arms are in the air. Shoulder blades, scapulas coming out of the body. Your shoulders are supposed to hurt. Stretch your arms forward. Stretch your hips back. Body stretching in opposite directions. Suck in your stomach. Lock your elbows. Stretch and stretch. Make something happen. Stretch forward. Move. Inhale. Come all the way. Good. Exhale. Arms down by your side. Stand up on your knees. Six inches between the knees, six inches between the feet. Camel pose, Ustrasana. Now you do what you can. You don't force anything here. You take it easy. Let me move this camera a little bit. Put your hands on your hips. Take a deep breath. Push your hips forward and drop your head back. You can go back halfway. Stop in the middle. You don't have to go any further. If you just want to do the head, head goes back. If you have something going in your arm and your back, just drop the head back. Don't go any further than that. When you're ready, then you go back all the way. Right hand on the right heel, left hand on the left heel, thumbs on the outside, fingers on the inside, full palms grip. Eyes open, exhale, push. Stomach, legs, hips, everything forward. Keep pushing your hips forward, chest out, head back, breathe. Let the head hang back. Just let it hang. It's not going to fall off. Chest and heart up toward the ceiling. Push your hands into your feet more. Chest and heart open more. Push your hips forward. I want three big pushes. Push and push. Take a deep breath, hips forward more. Put your hands on your hips, come up. Stop in the middle, good, grab a pose. Sasangasana, flip the towel corners over your heels, get a nice dry grip. If you've never done this one before, watch me first. Tap corners over the heels, tight grip, chin to your chest, and you go down, vertebra, right vertebra, put the forehead on the knees, top of the head on the floor, tight grip, lift your hips up. All the way, roll forward like the wheel. Top of the head on the floor, crown of the head, walk your knees up one by one, right and left, right and left, close out the gap between the knees and the forehead. If this is your first time, go ahead and try it. Just don't turn your head when you're in the posture. Feel this in the spine, coccyx to the neck, neck might hurt a little bit, shoulders up toward the ceiling, pull, suck in your stomach, pull, bring the heels closer together, tops of the feet down towards the floor, take a deep breath, shoulders out of the ears, and lift your hips up, move. Pull on your heels to come out. Use the arms, pull and pull. Reset your vertebra, head comes out last. Good, flip out the top. Hi, Maggie. Turn around, lie down, relax. Three, two, one. Boom, relax. Completely relax. We're almost at the end. Very close here. 10 more minutes, stay with me. You're doing amazing. Such a good job. You have no idea the health benefits you're giving yourself right now. You're so lucky. You get to do this yoga anywhere. You don't have to go to some fancy studio. You don't have to live in a big town. You don't have to pay a huge monthly membership cost. Flex your feet, toes, and heels together, arms over the head, chin to your chest, inhale, step. Exhale, quick, blow it out. Shh. Shh. Turn around. Come to the back of the mat. Sit down, Japanese style, knees and feet together. Inhale, arms up, over the head. Chin up, you go down. Look forward and stretch forward. Stretch and stretch and stretch, stretching the whole time. Shoulder blades, scapula's coming out of the body. Forehead on the floor, your nose is grazing the towel. If your hands came apart, 
Bring them closer together into prayer. Tighten up the prayer. You've got to feel something happening here. You make it happen. Stretch your arms forward. Stretch. Stretch your hips back. Stretch. Suck in your stomach. Put your belly button on the back windows. Lock the elbows. Stretch. And stretch. Inhale. Come up. All the way. Use your muscles. Come up. Exhale. Arms down by your side. Camel pose. Camel time. Woo -hoo. Stand up on your knees. If your back is killing you, you can open the, back, the knees wider, 8 to 10 inches. Still only 6 inches between the feet, tops of the feet flat on the floor. Hands on your hips, like putting your hands in your imaginary jean pockets. Push the hips forward, drop your head back. Go for an ashitab, scroll all the way back, relax your head, your neck. Let it fall off through the left hand through the right hand. If you're not ready to grab your heels yet, keep your hands on your hips and just keep that bending. Relax your head, relax your neck. Get used to this feeling. I want 360 to angle backward ready with gravitation. Head back, open the eyes. Look for where the wall meets the floor. Keep lifting up the chest. Take a deep breath, push. And push, push your hips forward, move. Put your hands on your hips, come up. Stop in the middle, good. Grab a pose, sasanasana, flip the top corners over your heels. Nice and dry grip. Thumbs on the outside, fingers on the inside. I told you about this mat I'm using. It's really thin, so you can just use this as a towel. You don't need a separate towel. It's awesome. Ask me if you want the link. Take your chest and go down. I'm not affiliated or sponsored. It's just I bought a lot of the yoga mats, and this is the best one I have found. Forehead on the knees, tight grip. Lift your hips up. Walk your knees up one by one. Right and left, right and left. Close out the gap between the knees and the forehead. Feel it in your spine. Pockets to the neck. Neck might hurt a little bit. Shoulders up toward the ceiling. Pull. Push the tops of your feet down towards the floor. Pull. Suck into your stomach. Take a deep breath. Feel your spine extending. And lift your hips up. Low. Pull on your heels slowly. Come up. Restack the vertebra. Head comes up last. Nice. Joey. Oh, yeah. Look out the top. Turn around. Lay down, relax. Three, two, one. You made it. Right here at the end, finish strong. Touch your feet, toes, and heels together. Arms to the head. Chin to your chest. Inhale. Set. Exhale. Quick. Blow it out. Shh. Shh. Sit facing the front of your space. Right leg out cornerwise. Bend your left leg. Great pressure with the foot against the inner thigh bicep. Your two legs should look like an L, 90 degrees. Bring your arms up. Over the head, turn to the right. Grab your foot. Ten fingers in our left position. If you can't grab your foot yet, then you bend the knee. Tuck your chin to your chest. Put the forehead on the knee. You must touch the forehead. You can bend the knee. Bend your elbows down. Left shoulder down. Left elbow down. Roll in. Roll in, roll in, roll in. Left knee on the floor. Left hip on the floor. Stomach in. Toes toward your face. Try it. Lift up your heel. Try to lock your knee. Change. Come up. Good. Switch your legs. Left leg out, right leg in. Two legs like an L. Bring your arms up. Turn to the left. Grab your foot. Ten fingers in our left position. Heel in the air already. Some of you. Ooh, yeah. Tuck your chin to your chest. Touch your forehead on the knee. Bend the knee if you can't grab your foot. Bend the knee if you can't get the forehead to the knee. Bend your elbows out. It's a compression. You're compressing the abdominals. Roll into the right, right knee down. Roll in. Roll in. Stomach in. Lift up your heel. Quick. Try to lock your knee. Change. Come up. Both legs out in front of you. Lie down on your back. As soon as you hit the floor, inhale. Sit up. Grab your big toes with your middle and index fingers. Walk your hips back. Right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. If the legs are still bending, work on getting them straight. If the legs are straight, you pull. Lift your heels off the floor. Toes toward your face and go. Bend your elbows. Elbows come down towards the floor. You're pulling from the lower spine. Put your stomach on your thighs. Chest on your knees. Pull more. Pull harder. Look at the toes. Shoulders back more towards the back windows. Stretch your head, your neck. Go for it, Kelly. Try to touch it towards your toes. Change. Come up right where you are. Arms over the head. Chin to your chest. Inhale. Sit up. Go. Blow it out. Turn to the left. Ardhamatsya Drasa. You're never too old, never too sick, never too broken to do some part of this yoga, right? I got it. Good, Suzette. Bring your arm up. Left arm up. Over the leg. Grab the knee. It's more about wanting to do it, right? Right hand behind you. Turn it. Twist. It's all about your mind. Your mind is the one. Your body loves it once you start doing it. Turn and twist and twist and twist. Over the shoulder, each and every vertebra turning and twisting. Right shoulder back, left shoulder forward. Inhale. Stomach in. Turn. Twist and twist. A little bit further. Twist. Move. Change. Untwist. Turn around. I told you. Uh, 
um, since I started teaching yoga here, it's very interesting, human nature. Bring your right arm up over the leg. Everybody wants to do yoga. Oh, Amy, how can I do yoga? Bring the left hand behind your shirt twist. And it's always, you know, the studio, the times, the commute, whatever it is, it's always, you can't do it, there's some excuse. And now you have it at home, you lift up your chest, so I can eliminate those excuses, twist and twist and turn and twist, Jamie. But some people still don't do it. So it's the ones that motivated people that really want to heal themselves. You're going to do it, and I'm happy you do. Turn around, lie down. I'm with you. We got to do it. Nobody's going to do it for you. There's no magic pill. You got to do it. You got to want to do it. And it's not that you have to do it. You get to do it. That's the beauty of it. You get to do it. Flex your feet, touch the heels together. Arms over the head, chin to your chest, inhale, sit up. Go, blow it out. Shh. Shh. And I get to do it with you. That makes me so happy. Oh, hi, Rob. I'm so happy you're here. I wondered where you were. Final breathing. Come on, Bhatti and Vajrasana, blowing and firm. You exhale only. The inhale happens automatically. You snap your belly in and out. You feel the zero cramping. That's good. That means you're doing it right. Let your lips swallow a couple of times. If you start slow, we'll speed up two times. Really squeeze the air out of your lungs. Get everything out of there. Ready? Begin slow. Namaste.